Mina, come on, come Jesus freaking gamer here. Back with more Psalms, going with Psalm 86 today. And the verse I'm looking at is verse 9. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. And so we've heard this many times. Well, at least on my channel you have a few and by many, I mean a few. I'm like, how often have I talked about that? I've mentioned at least twice, maybe three times, about how in the Old Testament, God is still like the God of the Old Testament, and he's the God of all the earth. He doesn't just want to save Israel. He wants to save the nations around Israel through Israel's testimony. God did have a global mindset, not just in the New Testament at the time of Jesus, but even back in the Old Testament when Israel was his one nation. He still wanted to reach the other nations and get out his fame and his glory through them. Also, it be, it kind of the the focus that I'm driving with this particular episode is, I, like I said, you know, people usually think of that as a New Testament term, not an Old Testament one. But in the New Testament, it is absolutely applicable. Where Jesus said to his twelve disciples to go out into all the nations and spread the word, and Pretty much all of the church nowadays believes that it is every Christian's responsibility to take the gospel message of Jesus Christ to as many people as we all can. To friends and family, relatives, people at our workplace, sometimes random strangers on the street. Sometimes to have very specific, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, like outreach events. Be it at a, a carnival, at a local mall, a local um, like shopping strip, something along those lines, and getting the gospel out. And in all ways and in all methods, making sure to tell people about Jesus. And this isn't like just some polished professionals thing. This is something that every single Christian should be a part of. We should all get the word out that Jesus Christ is Lord. And there are also some very particular people that God has called, and this is a bit more of a specialty, called to go out into the nations. Like you, if you read about the history of the apostles much later after the book of Acts, according to history, the 12 apostles at the time, I, 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 no, I was going to say they drew straws, that's not correct, they drew lots. That, that's the term that they would use for it, they drew lots. And each lot had a nation on it. And whatever lot they drew, that would be the nation that they went to. And there are silver people called missionaries nowadays that go out into the field. And by the field, I mean somewhere other than their uh, home country. And they go to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Some are medical missionaries. Some are just straight up preaching missionaries. Some are engineering or architectural missionaries. They go there to like build churches. And some are... Um, some are emergency aid missionaries. They go into um, zones that have suffered earthquakes, typhoons, other natural disasters. They bring like emergency rescue relief with a gospel message attached to it. So all, all sorts of missions out there. And I wanted to focus on you guys. Anyone watching this video who is a believer in Jesus Christ, is it possible that you have a call to the missions field? Is that a possibility? Is that something God wants you to do? I heard so many of these, you know, is God calling you to ministry? Is God calling you to be a missionary? Many, many, many times as I was growing up um, in a good old Southern Baptist church. <clears throat> and it's something that I really never thought about. It wasn't something that I really, I mean, I'm going into ministry. Let me, re, let me refresh that. I'm going into ministry. I think even YouTube is a part of that ministry. Where I'm spreading the word of Jesus Christ. I'm going to do some, I already work with the local church. Not paid, but I am a part of the ministry team that is there. I try to actively engage in discussions about Jesus and the gospel whenever I get the chance. One of the, it is the biggest focus on my YouTube channel. It's not my only focus. I love my video games. But it, I'd have to say it is the primary reason I opened up this YouTube channel. I wanted to use gaming and YouTube as an opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with as many people as I could. So looking for ways to do my part in this commission. But is there more in store for me? Is there more in store for you? Is there something else that God wants you to do? Is there somewhere else God wants you to go? And I just want to challenge you with that thought. And I want to be that. I want to be that preacher. I want to be that guy that says, "Has God called you to the ministry? Has God called you to the mission field?" And with this verse specifically, has God called you to the mission field? Is it possible that maybe God wants you to go somewhere away from your home, 
even your home country. Is that a possibility? Think and pray on it. Um, you may be surprised with what you get. I know I certainly was. And I'm going to end it on that note. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.